No, I ain't done yet. What's up, bros? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog, and welcome back to another gig low. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done one of these. We are here at the Sterling Ballroom. It's a Double Tree Hotel, Hilton Hotel, and uh, we are in their ballroom here tonight. We're doing the hat trick today, ceremony, cocktail, and reception. The main room, which we are in right now, will also serve as both our reception room and our ceremony room. Right now, we are getting things set up. So right now we are trying to get uh, footage of the photo booth. We desperately need footage of the photo booth. So we've been trying to collect photo booth footage. Everybody's like, what does the photo booth look like? And it's hard to explain to them that it's just literally a stand, but they want to see pictures of it. On top of photo booth, uh, which Rosalind will be running, Christian will be helping me here uh, with DJ services. We are just uh, providing the basics today, dance floor lighting and uh, sound. We have the big boy today. We have the subwoofer, we have the top, we have a monitor and we have totem also cool thing is we have the wireless totems today so we're going to be doing uh some wireless uh lighting with our totems and that's pretty much it <laughs> Bros, we are all set up, ready to rock and roll. This is uh, the setup right here. We are set up right in between the mirrors. I think we got it right. Just gotta straighten out this speaker, this one, and then we're good. So uh, this is the setup right now. We did not use the subwoofer just yet because uh, we are using it over here for it to kind of flatten out our carpet. This is our photo booth setup. It's uh, pretty standard. We have a gravity stand right here. We haven't taped yet just because we just wanted to test the prints. And right now we're gonna move everything off to the side because ceremony is gonna be happening and I don't want people in the middle of ceremony thinking they can take pictures. You would think that would never happen, but believe me, there are some people that just don't know. This is uh, what the prints look like right here. Jell and O, they went with their nicknames. Everybody knows you, it's your wedding. It's uh, assumed that your guests or your friends or your family, I'm off with it. I think that's cool. Behind the back, we have our ceremony setup, which will also be our reception setup. We have, of course, our Pioneer DJM, uh, 900 Nexus and our 2000 Nexus. We are running two right here. We are of course running our SRX speakers right here and right here. And our cabling is all hosa. We of course tape everything down to make it look nice. The way I do it is I come out of here into here. We use two of these so one is on this side and one is on this side. We do our best to split them that way not everything is sucking up from the same side. Cool thing about this venue is that that is DJ friendly. So these two are two different circuits. So we have two different circuits to play with. One circuit is just for the sub because the sub sucks up a lot of juice. Over here on a separate circuit, we have my monitor and we also have the photo booth, which is over there. By the way, for monitor, we're using the JBL uh, PRX712. Exciting day today because today we're running wireless DMX to our totem. Let me show you guys what this is all about. We're using an American DJ Wi-Fi EX are Parkan, and this thing is a beast. As you guys can see, it's huge. As you guys can see, there's a little thing hanging out. This is the antenna, and that is what receives wireless DMX. ADJ uses a wireless DMX system called Wi-Fi, and this is an EXR version of Wi-Fi, meaning that it's uh, super strong. Wi-Fi EXR hex par, as you guys can see here, no DMX in but we are using DMX out. So because this receives wireless DMX signal, we can use this to send signal up to our light. So if you look at the bottom, only one cable is coming out, which is the power con cable, which powers this brick right here. Another thing that we are looking to do is we are looking to add some of these element hex pars. We're gonna get some white ones and we're gonna be placing them right here for all of our events. So we'll have a white one that lives there. We have two or more of these coming in, so pretty soon we'll be having four of these bad boys right here over here we have our adj facade five panels being lit up 
by our UB, being lit up by our UB bars, UB6 over there, 6 over here, and 12 over here. We have our ADJ Airstream right here. One antenna is the receiver, so it receives signals from my iPad, and the other antenna is a transceiver, which means it sends signal to all of the wireless fixtures that I would have that are Wi Fi. I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like with our scenes right here. Do my best to try to get this in. So, right now we have a uh, white, I can shut that off. I can go amber, I can go white, I can go blue, and uh, I, it's hard to do it with one finger, but you guys get the idea. We have UV as well, we have a uh, color strobe right here, lights going crazy, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that is our setup, Rosalind over here. She's gonna be running the photo booth, which is this bad boy right here. It's pretty simple. A lot of you guys ask me what it's all about. It's uh, one of the reasons why I like this is because it's um, it's in a flight case. So it lives inside of a flight case. Inside of here, there's a computer. There's a DSLR camera, which you guys probably can't see, but it is inside of here. It's a Canon, uh, I believe, T6i. And there's also a ring light around there. There's a screen down here. You just push to start. Rosalind will be our model. Gonna say, get ready. You're gonna take three pictures in three, two, one. And boom, one picture. Get ready for another three. Three, two, one. Boom. One more time. Three, two, one. And boom. Right now, it's going to ask you how many prints you want. So the prints are four by six, the paper that we buy, but it cuts them. So when you say two, it's actually only one print of the four by six. So you'll end up with two. I can obviously print more, but you see it has to be in multiples of two because the printer cuts them. So I'm going to print two for the demo. Go over here. Printer starts printing, then it's gonna cut it when it spits it out. One, boom, two. And there you guys have it. We have our two prints. So originally it was like this, and then the printer goes ahead and cuts it in the middle. And that's pretty much it. People are gonna be coming in in about 30 minutes or so. So uh, for now, all we gotta do is just do a bit of cleanup, and then we get to relax, relax. Ready to rock and roll. I'm also all suited up. I want to show you guys a brand new toy that I haven't shown you guys, or at least I don't think that I have. It's actually a little, little baby cocktail speaker. And the reason I opted for this is because, well, first of all, the 712 is a bit of overkill. So I went out and bought a little baby PRX. This is a PRX 710. It is so tiny compared to my other speaker, and it was not easy to come by this little guy. These are completely discontinued, and it was so hard to track one down, but I managed to find a brand new one, not even a used one. I found a brand new one, and I found it for super cheap. I think I paid $350 for that little guy. Awesome deal that I could not pass over. So here we go with showtime. Guests are starting to walk in right now as I speak. We're playing a little bit of background, a little jazzy, a little piano, a little bit of instrument mental music while guests walk into the ceremony but before we get into ceremony I want to talk to you guys about something so uh, as many of you guys know Art Kelly Michael Jackson big on the news right now and when I sat with this couple for our final meeting they told me they specifically want to know Michael Jackson and know Art Kelly they said they love Michael Jackson and they were upset that they had to put Michael Jackson on the do not playlist but they just said they didn't want people talking at their wedding about you know the situation uh, so it's been a big deal in the DJ community whether or not we should be playing R. Kelly. R. Kelly is a tough one but Michael Jackson he's in a tough spot because the guy's dead so he can't really defend himself so I, I think I'm still gonna be playing Michael Jackson I don't know about R. Kelly so much I don't really play R. Kelly to begin with. What do you guys think about the whole Michael Jackson R. Kelly situation? So this is their do not playlist right here the one that's throwing me off is the Bruno Mars I am a huge fan of Bruno Mars I can't believe he got thrown on a do not playlist so uh, that one's a bit tough. R. Kelly, I don't care about. Nicki Minaj, I do play some Nicki Minaj. 6 9 it's whatever with 6 9 R. Kelly, Takashi, uh, even Nicki Minaj is not too bad being on the Do Not Playlist, but Bruno Mars and Michael Jackson's, those hurt. Those hurt. Let me know what you think down below in those comments below. By the Kyle Bachelor League, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of New Jersey. I am pleased to pronounce Elijah and Angelica as husband and wife, sealed together today, both in law 
and his love. Elijah Muhammad, you make this the bride. Cocktail's officially over, which means it's showtime for us. Wish me luck. Let's hope it's a dope party. Get ready, get ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to the beautiful Sterling Ballroom for our celebration this evening. Tonight, of course, celebrating the marriage of Elijah Wan and Angelica. Let me hear you make some noise for our newlyweds out there tonight. It's been my pleasure to introduce to you your brand new Mr. and Mrs. David. Mr. and Mrs. Davis, Angelica, Ow. and we oh. are here. Ow. How was it, guys? Did you guys have a fun time or what? Best uh -huh. time. Yo, right. holla at ball. Great time, yes. Can Great time for our life. We were dancing nonstop. He's awesome. Thank you for making it Kept it live. memorable. 100%. I ain't Thank gonna you. lie to you. Man I'll never forget words. it. And now we go into the after party. Ow. After. Yeah. after. <laughs> <laughs> And 
just like that, another one is officially in the books. Before I wrap this one up, I just want to leave you guys with something. It's very important, it behooves you to always look over the playlist that your clients, your bride and groom, whoever it may be, always look over their playlist before you go to the event. And today is the perfect example of that. This couple gave me a very hip hop heavy playlist and on top of that they also had their do not playlist when it comes to the do not playlist always keep that in the back of your mind never ever 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 play a song on a do not playlist whenever you see something on do not playlist something you might disagree with just sit and nod your head don't say anything because that's their preference it's their wedding if they don't want to hear something at their wedding it's all good however though when you see their must playlist keep in mind that it's your job to analyze that playlist and figure out if it's gonna work so so what happened here is because they gave me a hip hop centric playlist, I knew that off the bat I couldn't just jump into this music. So I told them, hey, listen, I'm gonna start with something a little different at the start. So don't be mad at me. I'm gonna play this hip hop and I'm gonna play it towards the end of the night. And sure enough, I was right because the older folks, they were just not into the hip hop. And you always wanna please the older people first and then you please the younger folks. It's DJ 101. Always start off with the old stuff and work your way up to the new stuff. Stuff. It's not like a nightclub. In doing private events, you learn that you have to go from zero and slowly work your way up to 100. So always analyze the playlist and advise your couples. Let them know that you're gonna play their must plays, you're gonna play their music. However, they're just not gonna hear it right at the start of the wedding. This couple was awesome to work with and I love that I got to play, you know, something different that I don't usually get to play at weddings towards the end. I got to throw down some hip hop which makes my job a lot of fun. If you guys have any questions, any comments or concerns, let me know down in those comments below. I'll be leaving a detailed description of my entire setup down below as well like this video if you like this subscribe if you're new around here and if you really want to help me out don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified tomorrow for another video until then my name is DJ bar stay awesome bros peace